Space. Welcome to Nighttime at Kreuzberg. And we're here to spectate the Finnish master, Mr. Pringles, on the Japanese team up against Rampage. Uh, the Soviet team from Australia. A uh, bit of a mismatch of opponents. Rampage did get through due to a lot of people leaving his group. And he's hoping to make an impact in this match between, uh, up against one of the favourites in the tournament. Possibly the number one seed or the second seed. Uh, depending on which way you look at it. Hansi or Mr. Pringles. Which one may win? Who knows? But everyone still has a decent chance. Because I think... Uh, yeah, we've got a lot of good players still in, in the tournament with Mr. Pringles. Doing some nice grenades. And maybe a sneaky guy from Rampage could do a bit of damage. Yes, he does. Takes one guy. There's a big swarm there of four guys versus one. But Rampage does a good job on this side of the eastern point. Managing to neutralize it for... Uh, a little bit, and Mr. Pringles does get it back. And ooh, but he's actually sending some more, so reinforcing it again. Let's see how it goes. Two versus. Ooh, no. <laughs> nice eight to grenading there by Rampage. Let's see what he can do. One versus one. This is the battle which will decide a northern point. Ooh, <laughs> that was killed by the PBSH, so grenade actually didn't kill him. The bullet did. Yeah, don't deny the kill to the. Bullet, grenade, uh, assault squad come from Rampage again, so it's a rather mismatch. Hopefully, it could be an even game, or uh, or more or more so, I guess, even than a complete wipe. With Pringles getting the center, and actually, Rampage has actually got the western point, but not for long. There's a full squad approaching, and because Pringles is the Japanese, he is kind of exploiting the, I suppose, the overpowered part of Japan, which. I believe is overpowered. The Type 100 SMG spamming the assault squads now 100 MP, but will be 110 MP in the next patch, which will hopefully also include the out of sync fix, which everybody is waiting for. So Soviets here trying to jostle for position, uh, fighting the Japanese assault squads, but they're more expensive than the Japanese assault squads, and arguably, or pretty much, it's for certain that. The SMGs of the Japanese are better in most situations, other than obviously being able to use the whole clip to unload on the enemy. But better accuracy, better rate of fire, better damage, better much, better everything that really matters. Uh, here comes an assault squad from uh, Rampage on the left, not to mention a lot cheaper at 100 MP to 115 MP of the Soviets. But here is this Rampage coming in again. Boom. One. Not too much happening, but looks like the shootout uh, is actually kind of going to Rampage's favour in the centre. Nice grenade. Knocks the pole down. Pringles flanking with another SMG. And I can see in the map, mini map there's a. Hmm, the SSD and the 20mm Type AA2. So this is going to be pure infantry killing madness. Uh, that's probably why Rampage is kind of, be, kind of able to catch up with the numbers or keep in the game, so he's going to get the western point for a short while I think, till the type 2 comes along. And the SSD, I'm not sure where that's going. Looks like it's going towards the center. I'm going to try and clear out the enemy. But Pringles is doing a good job just fighting him off the map, just pushing up with uh, the superior SMG and superior grenading. T60 out, interesting buy, decent buy from Rampage, just needs to be careful not to engage the type 2 uh, too dangerously, maybe avoid it, go all the way down this flag and take it just to stop the 3 cap. Because in fact, this T60 can be countered by 20mm very easily. Its top part is very weak and it's not really not really strong enough to withstand a 20mm shell. And let's have a look. Lots of bouncing, so doing okay so far. And we have to decrew it. Look at the rate of fire though. This is one of the good things about the T60 compared to the looks. It looks does counter it. There's the two tracks, and I dare say this gun and turret is going to get damaged. Pringles knows that he can do it. That's why he's firing non-stop. He, he knows, definitely knows his stats in this game. And he's not going to be shooting for no reason. As you can see, it's been damaged. I'm cl clicking on that type 2. But that actually can still fire because the gun part is not damaged. I'm not sure if that red part does actually does anything in terms of damage. Flaming action. <laughs> And oh, there we go. See, main gun and turreted by that T T60, and this is a sitting duck. And now all of these troops from Rampage can't do anything to advance in the center. It's got a lockdown. 
And Eastern Point's the only option now, which he's going for. Good on him. Trying that flag, but ooh, three guys left only. And it's going to keep trying to decrew this guy. And the flamer <laughs> was about to flank and flame. Uh, he actually killed the guy that threw the grenade. But there it goes. Uh, now, yep, Mr. I guess Mr. What do you call it? Schultz, who owns this house, is going to hopefully has insurance. Possibly not. The insurance companies of uh, World War II period um, Germany uh, probably aren't going to pay pay out his claim. <laughs> I dare say. Um, especially because um, it was a Japan, it was a Japanese uh, unit. They probably think, what, what are you talking about? Why there's no Japanese military units here? Um, especially one that has like ten flames around it. So even though uh, the company was has a lot of money and could enforce that claim, <laughs> I don't believe that story. Uh, assault squad flanking. Sorry for my comedy hour. Just I guess there's a lot of one-sided games, and I'm just gonna put some more entertainment into this for you guys. It's really. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to give coverage to these players too, so the reason why I'm going to cast all games only because Yeah, because it's a tournament and you want to see what's going on and uh, The players need the coverage, so let's see what happens. Nice grenade. Boom! Rampage trying to take this point and this is probably the uh, Nice option to go, but 20 mm can obviously go back and forwards to reinforce So it's going to be quite impossible to attack with this infantry. He needs a counter really and probably that only bet is the T-34 and it's quite, it's really quite hard as the Soviets to counter anything, <laughs> in fact, uh, Japanese wise, they're just so cheap and yeah, next patch will be better because the Assault Squad will obviously be a bit nerfed and also with the uh, uh, spamming, this is why, this is actually the reason why I introduced the nation, uh, nation rules in this tournament, you can't get the same nation pick uh, twice in a row, uh, so that's, I think that's Rampage um, gone. There's pretty much nothing on the map whatsoever. Spoiling another squad, I guess a charge unit. Let's see how this charge unit goes. It's probably just going to get slaughtered. Potentially we'll, we'll see some nice slaughterage action <laughs> on the left side. Um, fortunately for Rampage, just couldn't keep it up with the Finnish Master. And will be good experience for him for next tournament. And he's, he's from Australia, so he's, he might be playing in our in-house Anzac community games where we balance the games and he will probably get better and better and this tournament has probably improved his skill by uh, by leaps and bounds as the charge unit of the Soviets are just waiting, staging on the staging ground here uh, to their deaths, maybe just charge just for a bit of fun it's no points left, just go for it just charge, at least you can see how many one, how much can one twenty millimeter bullet kill doesn't want to try so that's goodbye, take a photo, Rampage, this is your last picture for the tournament Goodbye, and he is... Oh no, there's another game to go, but I don't think it's going to go too well, so... Uh, thanks. Thanks for playing.